Alberta health officials today gave an update on the E. coli outbreak in Calgary. The number of confirmed infections continues to climb. 264 cases have now been identified. Provincial health officials haven't yet determined the exact source of the breakout, but their report details health violations at a shared kitchen used by a number of daycares in the city. Our public health inspectors have collected samples of 11 food types that were found in the centralized kitchen. And they've collected samples of eight leftover food samples that were available from the childcare sites. These samples are being tested in the AHS Public Health Laboratory. At the same time, food histories are being collected from people who attended or who worked in those childcare sites who became ill, as well as from a sample of people who did not become ill. And looking carefully at the differences between those two groups can help to provide an indication of what the likely source of infection was. CBC's Paige Parsons has been tracking this story and has more from Edmonton. It's been more than a week since these kids started to show up at hospital um, very ill, but we actually we still don't know exactly what happened here. And officials say it may be some time before they can really pinpoint the exact cause. Uh, but today they did tell us that they are, you know, really honing in on that central kitchen that the, all the daycares were using and that they do believe it was a food source at that kitchen that's at the center of this outbreak. Um, but in the meantime, actually, some of the daycares have started to reopen and we had the Chief Medical of Officer of Health today uh, trying to reassure parents that they're only doing that because they're very confident um, that it's safe. I want to reassure parents as the closure orders are rescinded for the seven impacted childcare facilities that it is safe to send your children back. On the public health side, we will continue to do all that we can do to investigate what happened here to understand what happened, how it happened, and most importantly, what needs to be done differently. So in the meantime, they are very focused on that kitchen, and we heard from uh, the Chief Medical Officer of Health uh, at the top there that they're testing the food, they're interviewing people, and they also got inspectors back into that kitchen as soon as the outbreak was declared, and we're hearing today that what they found there were three uh, critical food safety violations, including significant evidence of a pest infestation. It seems to have been a cockroach infestation, and so they're, they're still working on um, that investigation, and and as they mentioned, there's no timeline yet for when we will find out what exactly happened. What do we know about the kids and the adults who are sick, Paige? Well, unfortunately, the number of people getting sick is still climbing. Uh, it's up to 264 today uh, compared to 231 yesterday. And there are now 25 people in hospital receiving care. And, you know, there are, have been people who've already made it home again, who've been discharged. And 22 of those people in hospital, uh, they're suffering from hemolytic uric uremic syndrome rather and it's a serious complication that can occur with this type of E. coli this strain and it can affect your kidneys and so uh, it can be particularly dangerous for young children and of course you know daycare aged children are many of those who are affected and in fact we've been told this morning that six of those children are on dialysis in hospital in Calgary and their condition is considered stable right now but obviously there's great concern for their welfare and and what's going to happen to those kids you know going forward. CBC's Paige Parsons in Edmonton. The leader of the opposition in Alberta, Rachel Notley, responded to the outbreak today. She says this outbreak could have been avoided. Those records of ins inspection at Kids U Centennial show that between October 2022 and April of 2023, there were six inspections. And every time there was at least one public health violation cited, usually more, and many of them were deemed critical, and in many cases it was the same mistakes being repeated over and over. Failure to engage in basic sanitation requirements, operating without a current servi food services permit, and failure to clean spaces properly. Leader of the official opposition in Alberta, Rachel Notley.